Hey everyone, this is HostExaminer.com. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to set up and install WordPress through cPanel on your web hosting um, account through cPanel. WordPress is the most common and best version way and easiest way to set up a website without a lot of experience in programming and all that. It's very professional looking, has lots of plugins and features. So let's get started. So go ahead and log into your cPanel. Now this demonstration is going to be on HostGator but it's cPanel um, for whatever host you're using. cPanel is pretty universal. So go scroll down in cPanel and click Fantastico Deluxe. This is the third-party uh, script installing uh, software. So down here, WordPress, there's all these different types of blogs you can set up or um, website systems, but the WordPress is what we're going to be doing right here. So you click WordPress and then just click New Installation. Because, wait, before I do that, I want to show you. When I go to my domain, there's nothing here. It just has HostGator's default page because I haven't set up WordPress. So let's go ahead and click New Installation. And then choose which domain you want it on. I only have one, so I'm going to pick that one. Directory, I'm just going to leave uh, blank because I want it on the root directory. Put in your um, username and password you want. Um, admin nickname, uh, admin email if you want. Just install WordPress. And then click finish installation. And there you go, it's now been installed in your uh, files. And then you can go ahead and log in. So now let's see what happens when I refresh YouTube Media. It now has the default WordPress theme. So WordPress is now installed. It obviously looks really bad. So let's go into the main WordPress. You're going to click this link they provide you, or if you don't have it, it's just yourdomain.com slash wp-admin. And then it's going to have you log in, and you put in the uh, username and password that they gave that you uh, set up. And there you go, you're now in the WordPress control panel of your site. Now you're probably going to want to install themes and plugins because the theme is very basic right now, So, and widgets. And if you want any of those tutorials, the links are right here on the video. I broke it up into separate video tutorials, so how to install themes and WordPress overview and plugins and all that. This was just how to install WordPress itself. So links are here or below in the description, and thanks for watching.